Former Prime Minister Scott Morrison has defended his decision to take on additional ministerial roles while he was leader. Mr Morrison appointed himself as the Joint Health and Finance Minister at the beginning of the pandemic in 2020. Then he took on the Resources Ministry in 2021. Political reporter Steffi Boris joins us now from Parliament House in Canberra. Steffi, day. So the former Prime Minister Scott Morrison has spoken on this issue for the first time this morning. What's he had to say? Good morning, Joe. This all relates to revelations that in 2020, the then Prime Minister Scott Morrison took on the powers of being able to essentially become the Joint Health Minister and the Finance Minister. Today, Mr Morrison has defended that decision, saying it was unprecedented times and that it was necessary. And the reason he went ahead and did that was because it was all about safeguards during the unknown, relating to you know sharing of power, responsibilities, and also if someone fell sick, essentially there was a backup in him. He insists he never used those powers available to him. But it's a very different matter when we look at the resources portfolio because it was in 2021 when Mr Morrison appointed himself as the Joint Resources Minister, which meant he had the power to make decisions. And he did. He stopped um, gas exploration off the New South Wales coast. This is a project known as PEP11. And very interestingly, the reason he did this, essentially when you look at it, is because he had a different opinion as to this project compared to the actual resources minister, Keith Pitt. A big thing about all of this, Joe, is transparency and the lack there of it. Mr Morrison did talk to Mr Hunt about those plans to become Joint Health Minister, but the then Finance Minister, Matthias Cormann, was never told about these changes. And Mr Morrison today in the interview said, look, it was an oversight. My office was supposed to tell his office. Uh, Mr Morrison was pressed further. Well, why didn't you have a conversation with him like you did with Ms. Mr Hunt? He didn't really answer that, but he claims that he's now uh, apologised to Matthias Cormann, who only found out about these uh, new powers over the weekend. So let's take a bit of a listen to what Mr Morrison said earlier this morning on Nine Radio. We had to take some extraordinary measures to put safeguards in place. Unfortunately, Ben, um, none of these in the case of the finance and the, uh, and the health portfolio ever, ever required to, were required to be used. And uh, they were there as a safeguard. They were there as a redundancy because both of the power, the powers in those portfolios they weren't overseen by cabinet. So the minister himself, and in both cases, had had powers that few, if, if any, ministers in our Federation's history were having. And Steffi, yesterday the new Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, said he was seeking legal advice on what had happened. Where's that at? Yeah, so he asked the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet to look into what essentially has happened over the past few years. He's receiving further briefings on that this morning. Ahead of those briefings, Mr Albanese suggested that there was a potential loophole that needed to be closed so that in the future, uh, if a Prime Minister appointed themselves as other Minister positions, uh, they would at least have to alert Cabinet and also tell the public. Mr Albanese also indicated that there may be further news on different portfolios that Mr Morrison also took up. Now, Mr Morrison this morning was asked about that specifically around the social services portfolio. He first said, no, my recollection is it was just those three of finance, health and resources that he took on. But then when pushed further, he suggested, well, maybe he did. So still a, a few questions around whether he did or didn't hold other portfolios. That's something that Mr Albanese has asked the department to look into. He was speaking earlier today on RN Breakfast. This morning, I expect to receive more detail about how this occurred, uh, because this is totally contrary to our Westminster system. It, it may well be that it takes uh, some time to get to the bottom of this. After all, we've had uh, revelations uh, come out uh, just in the last uh, 72 hours. So uh, mm. we will put out information publicly and transparently so more questions to be answered. Mr Albanese hoping to get those today. There's also a Cabinet meeting today, Joe, but expect a press conference later on this afternoon. OK, Steffi Boris reporting there from Canberra.